Welcome to the NEO Operational Video Series for Software Version 3.7. These videos are designed for targeted instruction to get you up to speed quickly and simply. This video targets deleting queues. Now, the deleting queues is pretty basic. If we have uh, a list of queues, which we do here, that we want to get rid of, and let's say you want to get rid of Q1, then we'll just say Q1. Now you may notice that there's no actual delete key on the keyboard, but if you do shift edit, then that's the uh, keyboard shortcut for doing delete. And I can hit enter, and it's going to come up and ask if I want to delete Q1, if I want to cancel, or Q only. So what does that mean? So let's talk a little bit about this before we do it. In fact, let's cancel, and what we're going to do is hit go which will run Q0. What we want to do is hit go again to run Q1 and we want to take a look at what Q1 is doing. So it's bringing up uh, 1, 11 through 14 and 21 at a level. Q2 takes a couple of things down or takes uh, channel 1 down and brings up 2 and 22. So we're going to go back to Q1. So first rule is you cannot delete a queue that you are soaking in. So right now if I do Q1 delete and I say OK, it's going to say you can't remove a queue that's live in a playback. So so what I'll do is I'll step back to go to Q0. I could also hit the button release queue list above and then I could go through the process of deleting Q1. So if I delete Q1 Q only, what that means is that the instructions, um, anything that's changing in Q1 will be removed from Q1, but they'll still be in Q2. So in the case of this, if we remove Q1, Q only, the instructions for 1, 11 through 14, and 21 to go up will still remain, the levels will still remain in Q2. So 11 through 14 will still be there. 21 will still be there. Now notice 1 has an instruction, so that's sort of out of this conversation. Uh, one's going to go to 50% regardless of how we delete Q1. But if we delete Q only, then Q2 will still look exactly like Q2. If we choose to delete Q1 not Q only, then what that means is that we'll remove the instruction from Q1 and any of these tracking values will also go away. So Q2 will look very, very different than, than what it does now. So I'm going to hit release Q list and I'm going to say Q1 shift enter to delete and in this case I'm going to go ahead and delete Q only and now when I hit go twice to run Q2, we'll see that Q2 still looks exactly the way it did, although the colors are different because one's no longer going down from full to 50 percent. It's actually going up from zero because Q1 is what had the instructions for it to go up. So let's look at Q3. Now Q3 is a 60 count Q and we just want to get to the end of it so I'll just go to enter to get to the end of it. And I can see 3, 7, 23, and 40 are changing. I'm going to do step down. And I'm going to see 4 brings up 4 and 10. So what we're going to do is look at deleting Q3 but not Q only. And actually getting, getting rid of everything that Q3 does. So I'm just going to say release Q list. Um, just to be very clear about what we're seeing. Now that may not always be the right thing to do if you have actors on stage, but in this case we're learning and it's part of the instruction. So I'll do Q3, delete, enter, and I'm about to delete Q3. We're not going to do Q only, I'm just going to hit enter because that's going to take OK. That's the bolded one. That's one it'll take. So now we'll hit go twice to run Q2, and then we'll go to run Q4. And notice 3 and 23 and 24, right, those are the channels that were part of Q3 are now gone because we deleted Q3 and all of its tracking information. So do understand the difference uh, between deleting Q only uh, and deleting tracking. It's very important. Uh, 
The other way to do this is you could open up your queue list window and you can select any queue you want and then you're going to have a delete queue button. So I can hit that. It says I'm about to delete Q5. Again, you have the options of Q only, cancel, or OK. We'll just say OK. And that's that. So we'll close this out as we'll close out this tutorial. So thanks for watching this Neo operational video for software version 3.7. Go to the Philips Strand website at www.strandlighting.com for many more videos on Neo programming and operation.